Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC featherweight division title. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145-pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with it. Defending undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 18 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, presenting the challenger, Josh Emmett. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Yeah. Rodriguez! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner.
DC, here we go with round one. Of course, a few guys in this division can grapple as effectively as he can, but maybe some pause tonight given the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the other side. Yes, and he may use his grappling in... Oh! Oh, he might be out. And now he lands a combination. into the books as a first round win by knockout near perfect execution the technique was absolutely gorgeous and again when you catch a guy early maybe you get him cold before he's had a chance to work off a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit those strikes can have a bigger effect and it certainly did here tonight and there is the ufc featherweight champion near perfect performance tonight it ends with a knockout victory you can be sure he and his team will be celebrating deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Yeah! So the path to UFC featherweight golden glory still goes through this man. And after watching that knockout here tonight in defense of his title, it's hard to envision one of these current featherweights giving him a true run for his money. I mean, we have the most talented featherweight division in the entire world. And this man is ruling the top it like he is some king from the olden days.